Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's talk, y'all. <laughs> Where's my headphones at? Gotta get my headphones. So everybody can hear me? We good on YouTube? Y'all can hear me on YouTube? Damn, YouTube is whack, yo. YouTube is whack. Listen, I'm going, what's up, my brother, Arthur? I'm going to start talking crazy on YouTube. I'm talking about YouTube. I'm doing YouTube and Facebook. Hold on. I'm doing both. Listen. Y'all, listen, listen, listen. We got to get these numbers up on YouTube. Let me see if I can find my headphones. Let these people keep coming. Share it out. Let everybody know we on YouTube, too. Y'all, we got to get these numbers popping on YouTube. Can't be one person on YouTube. Two minutes on YouTube and one person? Wow. Wow. So listen. Everybody that's on my Facebook right now, please, 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 go subscribe to the Sabir Bay YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube, people. We gotta get these numbers up. Traveling, buying books, getting this information out to y'all. Listen to me. There's many people, if you knew on here, brother Ryan, I don't know. Mad people always say to me, you give out too much information for free, Sabir. Too much information for free. I give y'all history in law with facts. With facts. So people said I should charge the hell out of y'all. I don't sell paperwork. I don't sell doc, you know, documents or get out of jail free cards. So when I get on these threads, I'm always giving y'all information to research. Research. So I'm taking my time out to share this with y'all. So when people ask me, where does, where does, let me ask y'all a question since y'all, uh, this is the Ask Sabir Bay questions. So listen, where does, this stuff go to the um what they call it cancer research do they really research after all these years did they ain't find a cure yet for cancer did they find a cure for cancer but you can stand in the street and put a pink rubber band around your finger or a pink bucket and people automatically start throwing in money or do you get anything from a church when a church tell you about a mystery god that's correct Make them pay. See, my elder said, make them pay. My elder said it. I got to follow his lead. Make them pay. He's not the only person that tells me this. Celebrities tell me this. Mm. So that's where we'll go at. Because flights are not cheap. You can't depend on our people the way we should be depending on our people. Okay? So that's where it goes. We don't question where the money from the church go. We don't question where, you know... What they come up with the fake cure for cancer and they ain't find a cure after all these damn years. I've been hearing them say that. Think about it. Wikipedia. Wikipedia has a donation on Wikipedia. I said, damn. Wikipedia. So I don't charge people five thousand dollars. OK. That's what it is. So, brother Ryan, if you never saw my videos, brother, go to every last one of my videos. There's always something in there that you're not going to get from college, from high schools, none of that. 
Brothers tell me they watched my videos for six months. They never got anything out of college in the five years they was in it or 12 years in high school. So that's where it's going. Money for churches pay for the mortgages of the... Yeah, maybe I need to start pimping, y'all. Do you know a pastor told me that too? Do you know a pastor told me that I should start pimping people? This is a minister. This is a minister told me this. Straight up, man. He told me. Start getting that money. Pimp the people. My conscience won't let that happen. But I thought about it. Thought about it. So that's where, you, that's where it's going at. I've been following you for a couple of weeks. Always interested. Exactly. So let me just let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Where else do you get it at like that? The information piece, my brother B. Where else do, who else give you all this information like this? Let's keep it real. Because a lot of copycatters are out here. A lot of copycats are out here. A lot of them are out here. When you are original, you can spit it from the dome. And the reason why I did this is because Sister Seti asked me, was I going to go do something tonight? I didn't have nothing planned. Nothing planned. I was laying down. Sister Seti said, are you going to go live tonight, Sabir? I said, damn, I'm tired. Even when I'm tired, I'm like, damn, what am I going to talk about? So the topic just came in my head. I was talking about it. Ask Sabir. Peace, 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 Frank. Ask Sabir. So that's why I'm doing this. So what I'm going to do. What I want to do. I'm going to tell you about my day. I went to a law library. Out here in Northern California. I think it's Martinez. Something like that. I don't even know. But anyway, I went to a law library. Nobody gives more knowledge on a regular basis than Sabir Live. Thank you, my brother. I don't know nothing about it, but bear with me. We're going to talk about logic, people. Hold up. We're going to talk about a little bit of logic. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn this around. Hold on, let me show you all this. Give me one minute. See that? See that? See that? See that? Logic. Right? Critical thinking. See that? Shout out to my brand Norris, man. Turtle gang, baby. So, listen to me. It's called the Ask Sabir Bay, but it's not really what I don't, I'm not going into go deeper into details with people because there's no need to do that. There's no need to do all that. So, it's just ask me simple questions. I'm not going to be on here long. So, what happened? Shout out to my family in the UK. What's good? UK in the building. So, I went to a law library today. If you go to my Facebook, y'all know I go to every law library, no matter where I'm at, no matter what country, even in Canada. Every place I go, I go to a law library. And this film stuff inside law libraries, man, is risky. So I was going to the law library today and I took a picture in front of the law library. A European so-called white sheriff comes out the door. And asked me, what was I taking a picture of? Or oh, they have a law library in Har It's called Harrison downtown. Go check that, sister. If you're in Texas, in Houston, Texas, there's a law library called Harrison Law Library, downtown Houston. It's free. So look, I go take a picture in front of the law library. The sheriff comes out and asks me, what was I taking a picture of? It was crazy. I said, yo, I'm just taking a picture in front of the, 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 the plaque. Go watch it. He comes out and asks me, what was I taking a picture? I said, I'm just taking a picture. I, this is what I do. Everywhere I go, I take a picture in front of a law library before I go in. So he's asking me why and asking me. I'm like, yo, I studied the law for a long time, a long time. 
as we walking in, it was two of us. We had locks in our hair. I want y'all to understand where we at. I'm in Northern California. As we walking in, I'm feeling, I'm seeing, projecting this. No lie. I'm, I'm watching everything. For some reason, I knew he was going to, somebody's going to come out the door. I didn't know it was going to be a European sheriff. But I'm seeing that happen before it happens. And he comes out and asks me that. And I automatically can write back. So as we're going through the, the metal detector, he's telling me a story. He's saying something like it's a prison also. They have prisoners in those. It's a courthouse. So as I'm going through the metal detector, I'm taking everything out of my pocket. And he's asking me about law. Why, like, something's like, why am I interested in law and all this other stuff? Like, mm. so I take everything out of my pocket. I had a nail clipper on it with a USB cord on it. Never took none of my stuff off. Now, I know he's looking at everything I have on. He looked at this. He looked at this. Right. This is what he looked at, too. And I also had a ring on. Right. So. Yeah, he's checking me out. So I put everything in the in the bin. I put this in the bin. This in the bin. This in the bin. All this is in the bin. So he started asking me, what was it? What kind of coins is it? Then he asked me for the coin, the, the copper. He said, can he have the copper? I'm like, huh? In my head. So as I go and saw inside the law library, you see all the Europeans working in there. All Europeans working inside there. And I'm feeling their energy the whole time I'm in there. So I go to the counter. And I said, excuse me, could you tell me where Corpus Juris Secondum is at? In words and phrases. I asked them for Corpus Juris Secondum in words and phrases. Now, I'm a, I don't know where they thought I was from. I don't know. But what I'm trying to get to y'all to understand, when we walk into these places, I know a lot of people say, well, I studied law for this long and I did this. No, you got to understand what I'm talking about. I wish I could have filmed it. Next time I go back, I will film it on a low. But he was so uncomfortable. They fear you and respect you at the same time. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was so crazy going up in there today. But I'm looking and I'm dropping names on books. The lady takes us to a computer and said, all the books that you want, you can get them emailed to you. But it was funny because we kept trying to email the information. But it was getting ready to close, I think, about 15 minutes we had to be in there. I'm trying to run the stuff off and get it sent to my email. It didn't happen. I got to go back. So, people, when I come on these threads, I'm not making anything up. Majority of these dudes y'all see on YouTube and Facebook... They duplicate what everything someone else says. And eventually what happens, they get put on a spot. Okay? So when I'm tra traveling from state to state, I don't know what they did with my email neighbor, brother. They probably looking up me. That's why my email says Sabir Bay Radio. But best believe me, best believe, they researching everything. They had cameras ungodly in there. I'm watching cameras. I'm, I'm looking at cameras, like in my head. Okay, camera there, camera there, camera there, camera's over here. And when I tell y'all, they had masses of stuff inside there, whew. I don't think about him. I don't even know what Umar Johnson is doing. He's my brother. Whatever he's doing, he has to deal with those things. Okay? He has to deal with that. They study, oh man, they studying it. You best believe me. They can run me. I don't run from nothing. They can run me. Good luck. So, listen to me, people. While y'all sleeping, these people are working. Let me tell you something else. While you're sleeping, they're working around the clock. You should have saw how really arrogant this dude was until I dropped my coins inside the basket. 
I don't know what I don't watch Umar's videos, so I couldn't tell you anything about what Umar does. I don't watch anything about Umar, anybody else. I don't even watch my own videos at all. So I can't tell you. Everything I'm saying right now, I told you this is from the top of the dome. I was laying down until I saw the message from SETI, Sister SETI Bass. He said, Are you going to go live tonight? I had nothing planned. We listen, you ain't saying nothing. Okay, then get off, then Lee. Have a nice life, brother. If I'm not saying nothing, see you later. See how this works? I would never call you out your name, but obviously it's something that I'm saying. I just talked about it. I didn't even get into what I'm getting into, but I was talking about my experience going into a law library in California, in Northern Cali, and what I went through going through the doors. Going through the doors in a law library with a European sheriff. Because he was nasty first. And then he saw my coins and asked me for my coins. Come on, people. See, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. And everybody keep talking about unity. Don't nobody want unity. Y'all want the garbage. But I'm going to test you. I'm going to say this to you. On Facebook and YouTube, this is not being arrogant. Brother, if you all here to try to come at me like that, hands down, brother, you're going to lose. I'm going to tell you that right now. Hands down, you're going to lose. So if I'm not saying anything, you can always change the channel or fall back and get off. And I guarantee you, you won't get off. They're never getting off. Okay? All right? So, good luck with it, Brother Lee. So if you came on here to try it, you're going to hurt yourself. I'm not that one, brother. And the meaning of the, the coins. It wasn't nothing. I just, you know, when you go into these courthouses, you got to take everything out your pocket. You have to take everything out your pocket. He just so happened to see the coins that I set in the bin. Like you severe haters are working all day. Yes. Yeah, they work. You think I don't know they working? You think? Eddie Griffin said they, they pay people to go to comedy clubs. It's called Ask Severe. Lee guy, not you, brother. So, the coins are true money. A. So, it was something that that dude saw. But his demeanor switched up after that, and he asked me for a coin. Hell to the no. So, that was my story for the day, going into the law library. Okay? So, oh, I thought you was frightening him by the coin. Nah, uh-uh. Everybody know what mill money is. Let me share this with y'all. Are y'all ready? I guess this is something. This is, this, is, this is nothing new either, even though it's not. I want everybody to do this. I want everybody to get this book called The Creature from Jekyll Island. The Creature from Jekyll Island. Okay? Did everybody, how many people are familiar with that book? The Creature from Jekyll Island. And if you have the book, did you really read the book? Did you really read the book? I told you logic, people, and critical thinking. Critical and analytical thinking. Yeah, man. So, let me share something with y'all. I have a book sitting in front of me called History of the American Economic Economy. Look it up. It's called The Teacher from Jekyll Island. I'm going to show y'all something. Give me one minute because I'm doing Facebook and YouTube live. I'm not going to be on here long. You see that book? I guess everybody heard of that book too. Yes, The Creature from Jekyll Island. You see this? But you never, people say, I heard of this book too. I heard of that book. Yeah, I heard of the book, Sabir. See that? How is this stuff going to help us, Sabir? Well, you got to read. Free yourself. Slavery is a choice. I'm going to say this one more time. Slavery is a choice. Should I say it one more again? Slavery is a choice in 2018. Mm. So I'm going to show you something. I was talking about money as I was reading this book. Logic and critical thinking, people. Logic and critical thinking. Right. Do you know why we are in the jam that we're in? Do anybody know why we in? Y'all can ask me any questions. You know, is I'm never going to get mad at you. I'm not going to call your coon an agent with none of that. I'm not going to do none of that. 
But best believe you're going to get the hell off here before I would ever get mad. Okay? So, in this book that I'm reading, it talks about notes. Notes. No one talks about the U.S. dollar if only worth, yeah, it is not worth nothing. But wait a minute. I'm going to show you something in this book. Peep this. Ugh, let me open this up. First, I'm going to show you on Facebook and YouTube. The first bank in the United States. Well, well, obviously, if I've been on here for 15 minutes, Lee is still on here. Lee Ross is still on here. Maybe he's a attention whore, y'all. Y'all think that's what he is? Because he's still on here trying to get something for free. That's what he's doing. He's trying to get something for free. So maybe he should go donate. Maybe I'll open up a little bit more. Y'all think that? If he donate, maybe I'll open up to something. See, people are always trying to get something for nothing. I've been doing this for a long time. And I know people. Some are trying to get a date with you. Yeah, a lot of dudes probably trying to get a date with me. <laughs> they might be. Who knows what they like. So, I'm going to show y'all something. No, I'm not going to block him. I told you, if I'm on a treadmill and you're on that treadmill, either I'm going to die on the treadmill or you want to get the hell off the treadmill before me. See how that works? He said, somebody, no, somebody asked. They said he might want to date with me. That's what somebody said. He might want to date with me. So this is what you call a note. I'm going to show you on YouTube in a minute. The first bank of the United States issued these notes, $10 notes, which were canceled by taking three or four. You see this? I'm going to show you something. Now, remember, there is no debtor's prisons, people. There's no debtor's prisons. I'm going I'm to walk you all into something. The promise, where there's a promise to pay dollars. Hold up. I'm going to show y'all something. Remember what I just told y'all. Hold up. Lee is an agent who, who is ignorant. Let him, he's all love. Let him be whoever he's going to be. He's going to learn or he's going to get off of here. I bet you he won't. I bet you any amount of money, Lee's going to stay on here for the whole time. Yes. So, you see this? Promise to pay dollars, most likely Mexican or American silver dollar. Hmm. Let me show you the front of this book. I'm going to show people on YouTube in a minute. You see that? American silver dollar on demand immediately when brought to what? To the office of the bank. Hmm. Let me show people on YouTube this, y'all. Bear with me. And I'm going to talk to y'all. I'm going to show y'all something. This is what it says right there. You see that? Pay in silver dollars. This is a note. That's a note. Yeah, Article 1, Section 10. So we got all these people out here talking all this crazy stuff, the crack of this, the crack of that, the crack of this, the crack of that. But yet, they use everything of the cracker, of the white man. They talk about the white man, but they use everything of the white man. But they're not studying this. Now I had to sit it down for a minute, brother. I had to show people. I'm doing YouTube, man, too. So they're not studying this, right? Where it says no debt can be paid other than silver and gold. No debt can be paid other than silver and gold. Right? So if I just showed you it's a promissory note, right? Which is this. Remember they said you can only pay it off with this. With this. This right here. This is real money. Anybody with common sense knows this is money, right? So where's the debtor's prisons at? Where's the debtor's prisons? So how are people getting locked up? Why are you paying credit cards back with this? Hold up. Why are we paying? 
credit cards back with this. This is a note, right? This is a note, right? We all can agree this is a note. Hold up. Let me see something. We all can agree this is a note, right? Federal Reserve note. You see that? Federal Reserve note. But didn't it just say here, promising to pay? Let me let y'all see that. Promising to pay. Promising to pay. So, every time somebody sit up here and try to pay off something or get a loan or whatever, what happens? You have to pay. It, you should look up fractional reserve too, y'all. Look up fractional reserve. Fractional reserve. Think about it. What you can do, go to an educated person, not these ignorant people, and ask them, would you accept a non-redeemable drawn up on a private bank note? I'm going to repeat this one more time. Go to someone and ask this question. Would you accept a non-redeemable drawn up on a private bank note? If they say no, you can pull it out your pocket and say you just reject, re uh, rejected my notes that I was going to give you. But since you've taken it, what happened? Right? They're going to tax you on it. That's why I brought up the fractional reserve, people. They're going to tax you on everything because you're using someone else's private notes, people. You're using someone else's private notes and trying to escape or to call everything white supremacy or the white cracker, the white this. It doesn't embrace notes, people. Bear with me. I'm not over your head. You can ask me. I'm not over your head, am I, y'all? Am I over your head? I'm not going to give you everything tonight. I told you, I, I'm, this is from the dome. I didn't even have nothing planned. I had nothing planned. This is off the cuff. What are you lost on, Sheila? Well, Sheila, ask my answer. Ask me and maybe I can explain it to you. What are you lost on? Don't never be lost. Whatever is lost can be found. Whatever lost can be found, Okay. Somebody said they lost, so I'm trying to help my sister to find out. Because I'm here to talk. I'm here to beat my people up. Hold up. I got you, but let me ask this. Let me see what she says over here. He, thank you. I accept that. If my mind is lost, I accept it. Okay, brother? If, that, if you're happy, if you're happy Lee... I'll give you five minutes of fame. If my mind is lost, then thank you very much. But I guarantee you're going to research what I say. <laughs> so, listen to me. You cannot pay off a debt with a debt note. One more time. You cannot pay off a debt with a debt note. Study the bank banking laws. Everybody in these positions, this is why you never have an attorney Never have an attorney going up against me and tell me that I'm wrong. I said earlier on Facebook, and anybody watched the Facebook, I said, put me on your platform and expose me and make me look stupid on a platform. Who else does that? Who else says, put me on a platform and make me look stupid? I wait. Why do you think they never did it after all these years? If Sabir didn't know what he was talking about, you think that them didn't, would never come after me? They'll try to leave a comment on YouTube and Facebook, right? Not realizing I'm setting them up from the get-go. A smart person knows that. That's why they shut up and they never say my name. 15 years in the radio game, I've been saying this. 15, 20 years doing what I'm doing. So I say, and I'm going to say it again on YouTube and Facebook, put me on a platform, expose me, talk about me, make me look crazy. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> so I'm going to show y'all something. Bear with me. I got two law dictionaries sitting here. Two of them. Let me show my YouTube people too. That one. 
in this one. Two law dictionaries. You see that? Yes, it's chess, not checkers. Right? Oh, you say you went back and found it? Much respect. What did you find, brother? So here you go. Let me open up this book. Let me see what a promissory note is. Gold at 13. Oh, yeah. Hold up. No, a written promise. Wait a minute. Didn't it just say that? They were promised to pay dollars. I'm not a rocket scientist. I ain't go to Harvard or Yale or Spelman, but damn, I know the difference between a promissory note, which I'm promising to pay something later on. I do know that. I didn't go to Yale, Spelman, and Howard. So, a written promise, promise by one party, the maker, to pay money to another, the payee. See that? Promissory note, an unconditional written promise signed by what? The maker? Really? Hmm. Did that sound like this misleading, y'all? Does this sound misleading or is basically research? See that? Hold on, I'm gonna show my people on YouTube. You gotta see this, man. You see what that says? So you get in a car loan with notes you never pay the debt off. The debt is always there. It's always there. You never own anything, my brother. See how that works? You never own nothing. Listen, Rockefeller said, give me control of the, something about the economy, and I care a lot. Give me control of something about the economy and the money. I care not who makes the laws. Who makes the laws? Good observation. Sabir did not write that. No, I didn't. I didn't write it. They wrote it. This is what they teach in law school, right? They teach this in law school. I didn't go to law school. I didn't go to Howard, Spelman, Yale, UCLA, none of that. But these people are watching these YouTubes and these Facebooks. They know exactly what I'm saying. They know exactly. Listen, people, you don't own nothing, not even your children. Not even your children. What can you do? Let me ask you a question. I'm sitting here at a table. Who owns this table? Nobody. What can I do with the table? I can sit my tablet on it, the books on it, the notes on it, the paper on it, the books on it. This is what I can do. I can use it, but I don't own it. Thank you. Give me control. Thank you. Give me control of the bank and I care who rules the world. Woo. So, no. Who is the maker? They create. Listen to me, people. Listen to me. They created out of thin air, just like people to go to college. have. Let me ask y'all. Let's keep it 100. And I know some of y'all in college right now, probably going to college or in college. Have they ever loaned y'all any money let me you're supposed to get money right to go to college right let's keep it real have they ever loaned y'all money money you seen money you seen even this have you ever seen any of this when you went to school to live a life not anybody help me let's be realistic did it when everybody went to college did y'all get this did y'all get this? No, I got the nose, right? Let's keep it real on you too, too. Did y'all get this? Yeah, it is. They play with words ungodly. Did you know why I told you? Why you sleep, I work. Why you have sex, I work. Why, why this, this system does not sleep. They have people that they pay around the clock. Around the clock. They think ahead while we think of tomorrow. They think future. So I said to y'all, they never gave y'all that, right? 
So how do you get in? How do you get in debt? How did you get in debt? Hmm. How? How do you owe student loans? See, they don't want y'all to know this. See, I can't talk too much because certain doors may be shut on me. Doors will be shut and then I'm done. You follow me? I can't make a living because y'all don't support it. I can have 5,000 people on a YouTube. If everybody gave a dollar, I probably would have $5,000. Think about it. But we don't want that. We want everything for free. 5,000 people on my Facebook. And if everybody gave a dollar to pay cash app, I would probably have $5,000. But nobody even do that. Think about it. But y'all want me to be on here trying to tell y'all everything. So listen, they never loaned you no money, people. Let me share something with y'all. There is a reason why it is spelling, is spelling words. Spelling words are casting spells. Every time you write your name in cursive, you're cursing yourself. So listen to me. Banks. When you study the bank and banking laws, banks are supposed to loan their money. Listen to me. You're too smart. Be careful. You don't get what I don't give a damn. Dude, I've been doing this for a long time before I signed your brain. Bring it. You're talking to somebody who's been shot up too many times. I'm walking with bullets in me right now. I don't worry about anything. Death is the only thing that's going to come to all. So you embrace it. Let me say this again. You embrace that. It's what you did while you were here. When you were here, that's all that matters. I'm going to live forever. Forever. See how that works? So I don't even invite that type of energy in my cipher. Okay? I don't invite that. Sandra Bland. I don't invite that in my cipher. So please donate. He said donate me money. I'm broke. Listen, banks can only loan their money. Go ask anybody in a bank that question. Go to the execs. Don't ask somebody behind the counter. Go, yeah, faith, not fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Let me say this one more time. Fear is false evidence appearing real. So all, I don't claim no religions like that, but everybody claim they love Jesus and Jesus that and Muhammad this and, then why you fear death? Why? Why do you fear death when you know it's gonna to come to all? Okay, so. Listen. I want y'all to ask somebody in the bank, not the people behind the counter, the people that's been there for years that understand accounting. Ask them about banks loaning. Banks cannot loan their credit. They can only loan their money, but they don't loan you the money, but you in debt for school. You're in debt for school. Think about it. Just ask them the question. It was something else was in my head. I should have said it. But I totally it slipped my mind about the banking system. But ask somebody that's in the bank that question. They can never, ever loan their credit. They create credit out of thin air. I can walk somewhere and say I want $5,000 credit. They create that credit out of thin air and you give them this. This is what you give them back when the debt can never be paid off. And let me say this to y'all. There is no debtor's prisons, people. There is no debtor's prison. None. So why are people going to jail for parking tickets, moving violations, and all this other stuff? Think about it. There's no debtor's prisons. Nowhere. So people, just ask the question to these people. We borrow money at the discount for the Federal Reserve. Exactly. It all says Federal Reserve, and it says the Bank of California, the Bank of Texas, the Bank of such and such is all based on some bank. So they have to tax you on it because we're loaning you it. We're loaning it to you, right, to pay us back at an at a interest rate. We got all these people running around with economics. I know, I know money. Let's build economics. But you're not really dealing with no money. You got to know how to use your tools, people. 
You have to know how to use your tools. Nobody should be in debt for college. Nobody should be in debt for college. I'm being real with y'all. If that's the case, y'all should get like 10 pencils and send the 10 pencils to the bank. After we borrow money from the Fed, we loan it at a profit. Exactly. Listen, people, I'm not making none of this up. I've sat with these people. Trust me. I was at, I don't know how many people remember when it was called Commerce Bank in Philadelphia. It's TD Bank now. They had five people come to my table and sit with me asking me, did I study the banking, banking laws? I said, no, I didn't. I didn't. Not this, the way they studied it. Yeah, I know. Look at Lee. He's still learning. I know he is. I told you he wasn't going to hang up. You think I don't know people? You think I don't know people? Yes. And he's trying to take what he can. That's why now I had to switch up in my head. Remember I told you this was freestyle. So now I'm switching up in my head because now I know he didn't get off. He's trying to get something for nothing. See how that works? Mm -mm -mm. You see how that works? So now I'm not going to say but so much. That's why I said certain things I was going to say. Now I can't say it because he's still on here. You see how that works? And it messes up for everybody else. You see how that works? Because he's still probably, he probably got it. This is him right here. Shh. I told you, if you come up and try to get something from me or do something, you're going to hurt yourself, man, or you're going to play yourself. I let, I let everybody play themselves, man, all the time. Tuition debt is in the trillions, but no money is, is loaned. Nope. This is, these are the keys, people, that they don't want y'all to know. Again, why do you think they only have certain people on these platforms? Why do you think they bring all these people in as experts, right? Analysts. He, went, he got degrees behind his name. He has numbers behind his name. Think about it. But yet, you won't bring somebody that can actually point the books out. You ever see Malcolm X when he went in that movie? Who remember Malcolm X when he went into the movie? And um, the movie Malcolm X when Denzel did like this. And they're looking for the dude's name. Let me show you. I got, a, I got an animation. When they pulled the dude's name out, Malcolm went straight like this. <laughs> he pointed straight to this. That's me. So imagine bringing all those books in front of me. Let them bring all their books and watch what I do from the dome. Oh, he said, this cat is fraud is entertaining. Yeah, it's enter to tame your mentality. You should look that up, bro. Enter in and to tame the mental. Break the words down. Okay? But he's still on here. But let me go. I'm trying to remember else what I was going to talk about. The same cats on CNBC. Yes, those people. Listen, I'm not giving him the spotlight, people. I told you, I'm going to, y'all can ask me any question. I'm not going to give him, I'm not giving him the spotlight y'all think. I'm making him sound crazy. That's what I'm doing. It's a method to Sabir's madness. I will make him look crazy. That's it. This is facts, people. Facts. It's not Sabir's opinion. It's not Sabir's belief. You have to have logic. You have to have critical thinking. You have to start asking questions, people. You have to start asking questions. Okay? Start asking these professors in these colleges these questions. How can I be in a debt? How can I be in debt? These people get millions of dollars off our people every year, every day off our people. What is the name of the banking laws book you recommended? Oh, it's called The Creature from Jekyll Island. The Creature from Jekyll Island. Real good. And look up Fractional Reserve. Fractional Reserve. And y'all should go out tomorrow and ask these people. Would you accept a non-redeemable? Yes. Not fractional reserve. Non-redeemable drawn up on a private bank note. Because that's really what it is. They created the note and people go pay for it. Okay, not a problem. This is what it is. I got to pay the bank back. I'm stressing. I'm stressing. I got to pay that back. Yes, the creature from Jekyll Island. At the end of the day, it's all the land man's wealth. Exactly. Listen, everything is in land, period. 
Everything is in land. It's about land. It's not about religion, people. It's about land grabbing. I'm going to say this. All resources are the land. So if I can convince you black people that all y'all came in on slave ships, you won't even accept what's underneath your feet. So I have to tell you, you come from Africa, you African-American. But I'm going to steal all the resources from the land. I'm going to take your land and give you my Bible. Take the land, give you the Bible. Same thing they did with Africa. I told y'all before, they don't sleep. They don't sleep. They do this around the clock. Around the clock. And they pay handsomely to people. Handsomely. I told you before, when I was sitting, when I was in the law library in Philadelphia, there was an attorney that walked with me because he watched me. And you'd be surprised how many people watch you. He said he watched me for a long time sit in City Hall room 600 in Philadelphia at a table with nothing but books. Nothing but books. And he caught me walking down the street and told me for me to untangle what these people spend millions of dollars for. He said, you a damn genius. This is what he told me. I can never forget this. And this is going over 10 years. Over 10 years. He told me that whatever you, he said, I watched you. Because he asked me, was I in law school? And this is the problem with most people. They think you have to go to law school to know this. If you choose to go to law school, that's on you. I will never stop you. But I want to tell you to stick with your principles and your morals. Stick with the principles and the morals. You have to understand, people, this is real. It happens all the time. I've turned down so many things that I could have been. I was just called by the audition today for a movie. And they said, oh, would you be, listen to me, and I got a witness. He said, would you, willing, would you be willing to cut your locks? I said, no. Listen to me for $900 a day. Listen to me again. For $900 a day, they asked me this question. Would you be willing to cut your locks? I said, no. Nah. Then he said, let's move on to the next one. He's running things down for casting. I said, no, nah, I'm not going to cut my locks for that. Think about it. So it's not the first time these things happen, people. They come to you all kind of ways. I don't know how many days, but I damn sure ain't going to cut my locks. See, this is the problem with people. I've been in L.A. for 10 years, 10 years in L.A. Many roles came up many times that I could have. They offered me money. But listen, people, you cannot sell your behind. You cannot sell your behind for a dollar bill because they're going to play you later on in life. I have so many brothers in this industry that tells me the same thing. This is why majority of our people, these entertainers are losing their freaking minds after this. Because you have no control of yourself anymore. No control. And that's real. That's real what I'm saying to you. They just, they, I got that call today. They have no control over themselves. So they're chasing after something that's falling. Malcolm X said, they tried to talk to Malcolm. And Malcolm X, y'all need to listen to the FBI files on Malcolm X. Listen to the FBI files on Malcolm X. When they went to Malcolm's house, go punch it in and listen close to what he said. No, but most people would have cut their hair, Fred. Malcolm said, most people, he said, the FBI agent said most people would have took the money. Malcolm said, anytime you, he said, you can take a, a, the money that's depreciated, something like that, Malcolm said, you'd be a fool to sell your soul for something that's falling. Malcolm said that back then. Go to YouTube and punch it in. Malcolm X FBI files, baby. And listen to what he's saying. And this is why they kept trying to get him to go against Elijah. Like these dudes do on Facebook and YouTube. Facebook and YouTube. Listen to this. Listen to this. I'm, I'm, like I said, I didn't have nothing planned, people. This is not planned. I'm just openly talking to y'all. Think about it. Somebody said, no, Lee Ross, you can't have a date with him. <laughs> but I'm being real with y'all. You got to listen. This is why I tell brothers, stop beefing on social media. Stop it. If you're not bringing this information to people to empower them, empower these people. Let's challenge the establishments.
But if you're not going to challenge the establishment, learn the establishment, learn the game, learn how this thing work. But do not sell your soul for it. And then lose your, what do they say, lose your dignity in the end? Come on, man. No, he wasn't afraid to speak the truth, speak his mind. I'm not afraid to speak my mind. It is what it is. But it's our people that come to me and say, Sabir, just take the money, brother. Yo, just get them. These are pastors telling me this. Pastors are telling me this. Actors that I know is telling me this. I know they're going to be watching this right now. They, they all watch this. They all watch it. And they tell me all the time, Shabir, if you just... And I'm not saying nothing ridiculous. Am I sounding ridiculous, y'all? Am I talking about somebody coons or agents or white supremacy? Am I? No. But I'm telling y'all to watch out for what's getting ready to happen or what is happening to y'all every day. There is no debtor's prisons, people. Our people are dying and they sick because of they being trying to keep up with the Joneses. Sellouts. Man, funny how Lee think that this is BS. Yet he's exactly because let me tell you something. This is another thing with people. What I've learned in my my years of radio and being in this industry that he's getting something from it. That's why he don't want to get off of that Facebook. He don't want to get off this live feed. He don't want to get off of it because he's learning something. I'm going to tell you a movie to look up. Look up this movie called Mind Hunter with LL Cool J. Mind Hunter with LL Cool J in it. Because I'm as he's talking, he's really telling me about himself. Y'all get it yet? As the brother's talking, or European, I don't know what he is because they never have no picture up there. He's telling me about himself. That's what he's doing. That's really what he's doing. So keep on talking. You notice I'm always calm. I'm not going to trip or lose my mind. They think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Trust me. I told you, I'm going to play with you all day. True keep up with the, the Joneses. And no lie. So listen, people. Study the Constitution. Study the Bill of Rights. Study the Declaration of Independence. Understand you're not dealing with real money. Nobody's dealing with real money. They're loaning you to you. I didn't see that movie Big Short. Nothing. Listen, brother. Everything is serious for my people. Because my people are the ones that's suffering. Everything. And we have the fake people sitting in these, in these positions that know what I'm talking about, who claims to have PhDs and NBAs and accountants. And another thing I want to see this with y'all for people that's in this industry. This is how wicked this thing is, man. Oh, yeah, I like that movie, too. This is how wicked this is, people are. How the hell is any entertainer going to jail for tax evasion? I'll wait. Why is anybody going to, why are entertainers going to jail? The artist going to jail instead of the accountant. Why? Didn't the accountant go to school? Didn't you hire the accountant to take care of your business because you're too busy working? Hmm. Hmm. Wesley Snipes is one. Lauren Hill is one. There's many of them, right? I'm just asking a question. And I know some of these accountants on here. And I know some attorneys on here. You never thought about that, huh? Nobody does. It's called critical thinking, right? So imagine me being on a panel and I bring that up. Imagine me being on, a, on these panels. They bring all these analysts on here, right? Y'all should go ask that question. They went to school to take their money. <laughs> Ron Osley. Now let me ask y'all something. Think about it. Why did he, now I didn't go to law school. I didn't go to none of that, right? But I know that the accountant should be going to jail. The accountant should go to jail, am I right or wrong? They should go to jail. That's like you hiring Sabir to do something, right? And you're working, but I'm the one that's supposed to be watching over everything. What do you do to me? You fire me, right? You would fire me. 
Yeah. Or you turn around. They should. All these entertainers should hire me to watch them. Accountants. That's what they should do. They should hire me as a consultant to watch over all the attorneys. What do y'all think about that? That sound like a good idea? Red Fox died right there. Red Fox died and they disrespect. They took the stuff off of this dead man when he died. He died to let you know you ain't nothing. He was dead. They took everything from this man. Nope, I'm a tax professional. What's a tax professional? See what I'm saying? So, they should go to jail. Not, <laughs> not the artist. Not the artist. They should never go to jail. The person that you hired as the so-called professional is the one should go to jail. Not the artist. I'm busy trying to make the money. Are you following me? Does that make sense, y'all? It makes sense, right? Oh, you got black accountants the same way. There's a difference between income and taxes, wages, and compensation. Let me say this one more time. I want y'all to look all this stuff up. Get a law dictionary, people. Look up, get a law dictionary. I want you to look up wages and income. One more thing. Wages and income. Y'all got that? For my tax professional that's on here too? Wages. Somebody hurry up and look up the definition of wages in the law dictionary or online. Very much difference, right? Can I tell you the difference between the two? Income, wages, revenue. Y'all ready? You ready for it? It's big as for, I told y'all. I know it's big as forces, but I don't give a damn. I'll take on them too. I'll take them. Wages, you get compensated for your wages. When you Listen to me. When you're working, you get compensated for your wage for that time. Wages. What happens when you take the wages, listen to me, listen to me clear. And if any of your tax professionals on here, tell me I'm wrong. If you're on here, you take your wages and you invest it, it becomes income. Because now you're getting an interest on it. Did that make sense, people? Did that make sense? When you take your wages and invest it, it becomes income. Does that make sense, y'all? Plain, simple, right? Simple. It's not complicated, is it? Get compensated for your time. See how that works? What do you think is the difference between a checking account and a savings account? I'm going to say this one more time. There's a total difference between checking account and savings account. Did y'all know that? Which ones draw interest? Which one draws the interest? Now, mind you, I never went to banking school. I didn't know the difference. Oh, yeah, it's a difference. Here's a difference. You can look these things up. It's called non, non-interest bearing account. Non-interest bearing account. Checks, when you have a debit card, checks, there is no interest. Savings account, you draw interest on. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? You draw interest, right? It's too deep to go into all this, y'all. Come on, man. This is simple. This is simple. So why don't we have this type of dialogue? Do y'all agree that we can have this type of dialogue? Savings draw its interest. Thank you. Right? Come on, man. Come on, people. Y'all don't want the real truth. Y'all still watching Lindsay and ain't seeing that low hand. You still watching Lindsay and ain't seeing that low hand. So think about it. A person that would know this information, that never went to this school, that can sit on a panel with all the great scholars that they can pull out their closet, and I could tell all of them to bring their books, and I could quote every last one of their books in public, not in private, 
not behind the scenes, not no, shh, don't say nothing. Think about it. This is what we're dealing with, people. Our people are dying. Listen to me. Dying because of this nonsense. And it's people that look like you and I. You and I. Right on here. You talking about pimping? These Negroes are pimping you on Facebook and YouTube every day. My elder, and I respect this brother, he was telling me, make these people pay. This is what the brother said on here. Make the people pay, Sabir, because you're giving up too much information. He's not the only person that said this to me. And read a book, be nice, be nice. Listen, I'm, all, I'm not nice. That's stupid person. That's a stupid person. But listen to me. Income and wages is two different things, people. I just told y'all. Get a law dictionary and look it up. Being real. Just look, that's all you have to do is look it up. Period. So any questions before I get off here? Because I've been on here a little bit too long. 61 minutes is too long. The people for the lack of knowledge and your interest. Any questions before I go? I'm not nice because that means stupid person. Yeah, but my elder keep telling me that. And many other people told me they get that. But see, what people try to do is try to pimp something out of you for nothing. That ain't going to work. I've been in it for too long. I'm no, what do you mean by definition? Now, I said this is the ass of your day. Yes, I am a Hebrew. I'm the original Hebrew. I'm the Ebri. I'm the Ebri. Who is the author of Fractional? Just look up Fractional. No, there's no author for that. Just look up Fractional Reserve. You could probably go online and find that. Fractional Reserve. But I am the original Hebrew. Yes, I am that. I'm a Moor. But Hebrew or Ebri also means ones who crossed over. So yes, we crossed over. Crossed over from where? Many different places. Is it true that you use your money to loan and draw money, money from people? Yes, that's true. Support always, appreciate it. No, I wish they do support. I told y'all before, I had 5,000 people, and if 5,000 people gave a dollar, I had $5,000. I would have had 5,000. My sister Tasha keep putting up there the cash app, huh? What kind of coins are those? Or in your, God, let me talk about this. Yeah, we're not talking about genetics. I don't know what people be, they be in their own world. Do what you do. I don't force nobody to do anything. That's not what Sabir do. I see those that can do. I don't force anybody to support, period. Take care of your children. Family come first. I'm going to tell you this in a heartbeat. I have two sons, but family comes first. And so, oh, let me see what else. Yes, family first. And that's, that's for some of you dudes, too. Be fathers to your children. If you got to kiss your baby mama behind her feet, do it. It ain't about you, baby. It's about the children now. I'm from Turk in Haiti, born and raised and moved uh, when I was 20. So what are you saying, Hebrew Jews? You're black Jewish? No, it's not a black Jew. I did a video yesterday. Go to my YouTube and check out the video on my Facebook. Black is an adjective describing something. I don't know black Jew is. I am the original Jew. The original Jew. The original. Okay? I'm a Moorish Jew. I'm not mad at you. I don't. Brother, I never said you was mad. See, you're telling on yourself again. I never said you were mad at me. And Sabir Bay don't even care if you are mad at me. It don't matter. I hope I make you feel better. I hope I make you feel better. But I'm never mad. Dogs get mad. Dogs get mad. People don't get mad. I don't get mad at nobody. Period. Yeah, who, how many people ever saw me get mad on a YouTube? You never see me get mad on a YouTube. For what? Or Facebook? I don't do that. 
I brought the so-called black star of David. Mm. No, he should go to YouTube and watch all my videos. He should watch my YouTubes. You never get upset on live. Nope. I will cuss up a storm when I'm not on here, though. I will do that. Cuss up a damn storm when I'm not on here because I don't do that. It's because we have young people sometimes watching these videos, and I don't want to trip like that. I want to show them how you can deal with people without cursing, without getting upset. Because we have young people all the way down to seven years old watching these videos. Okay? That's why I don't get upset or trip or lose my mind and call people agents, mother effers, and none of that. Okay? I don't do that. That's why. I won't say mother effer. I'm not going to do that. That's not cool. Because I told you before, once you put something up on YouTube, you can never take it down because somebody's going to pull it. Yeah, he should go to YouTube and watch all my videos. Watch all my videos. He said, he said yes, good mindset, brother. No matter, you know how many people try to throw stuff at me? And I still never buckled. I've been doing this on radio for 15, let me give you this, 15 years on radio. So, and I had the best come at me. I am so good. <laughs> I pat myself on the back. Damn, I'm good. Change not putting people down. He's ever advising you what books. Yeah, never put anybody down. I'm always here to lift you up. Three of our youth listening now. See what I'm saying? Three of the youth, 15, 7, and 3. You see why I don't use profanity? You see why? Because I know my audience. See, these dudes don't know their audience. They think they have to trip out a curse. I'm showing you how to battle somebody without getting upset. You follow me? Battle somebody intellectually without getting upset. You follow me? Go watch all my videos on YouTube. Or you could just Google that name, Sabir Bay, and you'll see how patient I really am. So I don't have to do that. But off the camera, nigga, we go ham. <laughs> so listen, y'all. I'm just a regular real dude from the streets of South Philly on the West Coast. That's it. All right. I salute you, my brother. Wish you more people, wish more people would be. Likewise, I can't speak for everybody else, brother, but max out my phone and they let me. I can't speak for everybody else, but everybody, some people are just attention whores. Some people has to use profanity to get hits or do exposed videos to get hits with no substance in it. And people will sit there and watch it and listen to it. Do you understand, people, what that does to your vibration? When you see that kind of stuff, it's like watching Love and No Hip Hop, Atlanta and No Housewives. Think about it. You know what that does to your psyche when you constantly see somebody being shot or watching these videos with these dudes on YouTube and Facebook? You know what that does to somebody? It messes it up. That's why I don't look at nobody. Pay him for the knowledge he dropped. My, <laughs> my elder said pay him for the knowledge we dropped. We got 106 people here. Probably a thousand on Facebook but my elder here said pay him for the knowledge but brother they if it's in their heart brother let them do it brother let them do it I have a cash app Sabir Bay or PayPal Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com so you see how long that brother stayed on here with me you see how long he stayed on and he talked all that crazy stuff before and I never bashed him See my my bracelet. But I will cuss you out in person. <laughs> if I all right, so listen, I gotta go, y'all. I'm gonna get some rest. I don't know about y'all, but I gotta get some rest. Alright. Um I got you say you like my bracelet. It's good to be.
analytical. Listen, are you really analytical? You should pick up this book. It's an elder, my brother Baba G, brother named Baba G. He did a ring for me and he did the bracelet. Brother named Baba G. Reading comprehension. I can do this with do this with my eyes closed. But I will say this in closing. <laughs> if you step inside the cage with me and you're not ready, I will destroy you. I'm just being real with y'all. You see that? Logic. See that? Logic. Gotta have logic, people. See that? So, this whole story is Abbott and Costello's. There's a skit in here talking about logic okay critical analytical thinking so listen y'all i gotta go it was real hope y'all got something from this shout out to the young soldiers that's listening to this all right appreciate you sabir you lead me to a lot of information a lot of information i've gained a lot give thanks so listen y'all gotta go y'all um i gotta get some rest all right, can't do nothing if you're dead. Or maybe I'm dead now. Who knows? Are we really dead? Because when we die, we're born. Who knows? I don't know. So I got to go, y'all. Peace. Peace. Got to go.